All right. Well, welcome back to the Western Front of the Great Patriotic War. We're kind of jumping in in media res here. I was discussing dinner with my wife, so uh, I had made a few moves, not recorded it. But what we did basically was just bring some units up from the reserves. Uh, they're going to come in next turn, and we set them to go again to the Northern Front or Northwestern Front, I suppose. Uh, they're eventually going to go under um, Kuzetsnov. Um, now, what I'm doing here is trying to move around our rifles that came in this turn. So we got four rifle divisions, full strength, freshy fresh. And these boys are going to hold the line after Peskov falls. So we, we fully expect Peskov to fall probably next turn, if we're being realistic. And what we don't want to happen is to have the Germans immediately break through all the way to Novgorod. And the way we're going to defend against that is with a strong defensive line that will then be supported by retreating tank units. Uh, but what we want real really is to try to get a a bit of a defense going here before they even get in range. So we're going to set up a depot here. This will be the post Peskov depot um, at Pluyusa. And this is a good location because one, it's on good defensible terrain. Two, it's on double rail. And three, it's close enough to the front line where it's going to get good supply in, uh, but hopefully far enough that we can shoot shoot it down. And we're going to protect it with some anti-air. Um, so we're going to assign some AA to it immediately um, because it needs it. Now, where do we pull that AA from? That's the question. Maybe from Moscow, honestly. We're going to give it two, maybe even three. Give this high priority. And then Pskov... Uh, still probably going to need to be relatively high pri priority until it um, until it gets in there. These are both under strength. I really don't know if I want to lose another. Uh, you know what? It's it's probably worth it to assign another AA. Uh, oh, we're going to be bringing in a lot of anti-air defense anyway, so it's worth it to assign this stuff. So now we we should have a little bit more defense. At least the start of some defense here. And we'll, maybe we'll even stick one of these guys on it just so it doesn't get bombed to shit. Let's see, what else do we have? Let's get you off the train. Um, and I think he's on really shitty terrain. So let maybe we could stick him in Peskov proper. Uh, shoot. Northwestern Front is on there. Really wish I could get rid of this frigging guy. Can I disband you? I... I Emerge you. No. All right. We're going to disband this thing. It, it's not going to do us any good, anyways. I'd rather have a true. Uh, I'd rather have infantry there. Yep. 
you can stay on reserve um, and we're going to set all of these to be on reserve one of the issues that we have with them is that they're going to need supply so we've got to bring back a rifle core or bring down a rifle core potentially the 65th rifles we can bring them over to the supply depot and we'll give all of these guys to the 65th rifles what does 65th rifles have under it right now nothing that's perfect Sixty fifth rifles. And I'm really hoping that these guys are going to do good work because we need we needed some full strength units down here. And I, I do want to fight over this terrain because it's so so really nice for defensive operations. Uh, but it's just, it's going to be hard to hold this, this little area here. And what I'm scared of is they're just going to blast through us potentially in one turn if we can't get something down there. So, I mean, this is just a brigade, but maybe a brigade plus the security unit can hold. It's a long drive. But frankly, they got to get in there. He's under the 27th Army. And the 27th Army, where the hell is he? Okay, so we know you are... Finally get everyone out of there. The Rifle Corps, where are you going to be now? Hmm. Just trying to see where good possibilities for supply depots are. Uh, I just kind of regret that, actually. Right, so you can come back up here. You can become a reserve. What is this guy under the Northwestern Front? Let's change you to go back to the 10th Rifles. Where's the 12th Motorized? Oh, it's over here. Hmm. You can go to the city too. What does this guy go to? Northwestern Front. We'll change you to be the 10th Rifles. You're okay where you are. What does this city have for supply? Maybe we want this to be up to a three. Get a little bit of supply in there because I don't think it has much yet. And then we probably want another, potentially another depot right here. Not sure on that though. And then let's. Unfortunately, we got to stick those guys on the front line. Okay, so this tank division needs to get across the river, I think. Oh, Jesus, there's nothing there, huh? Okay, so the mechanized division, pull them all the way back. Stick them on refit. This mechanized core. What does it have under it? You can start pulling this back. Pull him to the other side of the river. Stick him on that. You know, it's not great, but it's not the end of the world. 
These guys are really weak. This rifle division just needs to get pulled off the line. Ooh, these guys are getting split up here. It's not the best. Right, well, that's kind of the only place he can go. Um, There's just nothing really in the area that can help out defensively in this gap. That's that's going to be a bit of a problem because this guy is not going to last. I, I can't get anyone across the river from my new unit, so... It's not going to help him at all. I just don't have a useful enough unit. Like anywhere they try to cross here, they're just going to get wrecked. I wonder if I could do that. So if I stick him on reserve, drive him... Drive him over here. He can still be in range and maybe still do something. And then we're going to have to fall back. So what we want is them to go into that woods area. Maybe we can fall back all the way to here. Find just something we can throw in front of it. what I'm going to do is I'll just shift this line down a little bit. Those guys can stay there. These guys are good to go now. They can be put on reserve again. Hmm, maybe this guy needs, needs another turn in the back, but... So let's see, if I put you up here, and I know this is not great terrain, but at least he has got, he does have the river. That's 
it's relatively good terrain. Yeah, I guess that's an okay spot. He's got to get closer to be able to be committed. Where I'm thinking about, like I said, the, the plan all along was to bring these rifle corps up onto this flank. So this is pretty much just following the plan. Stick him on this. I mean, unfortunately, we know that this guy's going to get smashed if he even gets touched. Can I take this guy out of the... No. Can't send him back to the... What else do I have? I think I got everything out of there. Cool. Cool. Um, well, I guess that's kind of the front sorted. Um, it's just going to be a matter of coming back through and making sure everyone has what they need in terms of uh, guns and such. Okay, so now that's out of... Alright, that's better. The 27th Army is really far away. Make sure there's nothing under his direct command. There are. So this motorized brigade. Give them to that mechanized core for now. In this 65th Rifle Corps, we want them on very high supply priority. I mean, I put the 7th Motorized Corps on very high and they didn't get too much, so I don't understand that. Don't know what happened there. They received 5 supplies, 2 fuel... I don't get it. Well, we know that this guy's going to need some support units, so let's get him some artillery. 
It's going to need it. Oh, shoot. There's not too much in the way of available artillery this turn now, is there? We've, we've used a lot of it in the southern front and up here. But we got to use some more. So we'll just give them some slightly under strength. And he's going to overall be a little bit under strength, but that's okay. We'll say three for him. But he's got a pretty big command right now. A pretty important command anyways. Same with the 26 motorized. Now he actually has his full complement of artillery that we want on a group like this. Just has a weak AA battalion, but um, other than that, he's really good. Um, might even be worth... Might even be worth replacing this guy. I wonder if there's anyone who's good. Yeah, Zhukov's good. <laughs> Uh, let's go for the minimum cost ones. This guy's a really good general. Let's get him in there. See what he can do. Kuznetsov is pretty bad overall, and you can see this whole front has had a, a pretty rough time, a pretty rough go of it. Five and fifty-five. So uh, I, I like looking at those stats sometimes. That's kind of cool. I want to give this guy to the Northwestern Front as well. Because I feel like the 20th Army... Oh, it's not oversubscribed, but I felt like it was. Who does the 69th rifles go to? 20th Army. Well, let's give them to the 28th, and 28th doesn't have anything. All right, well, I feel like there's not much else we can do short of magicking up a, a, an entire division full strength to throw down here and giving them lots of artillery and stuff I don't know what else I can necessarily do um, I guess what I can do is give them you know a little bit of artillery Let's see if that helps We 
against them with a very high supply priority because they they're going to be a little low on supply. I have a feeling. All right, so that's that sorted. The North always takes me such a long time. As I always just agonize over the decisions. We know that this guy's probably not going anywhere. And now it's just a matter of trying to hold the line. And the question is, will we hold? I don't know. I, I really don't. This is the first first time I'm not sure on if if we're going to be okay or not. But... I do know that, in general, we need to pull this area back. This needs to come back to almost in line with Kiev in order for it to hold. Uh, we just got to start giving ground. So that's that's going to be the next video is going to be just double-checking this line. I mean, we did a lot to set it up correctly, so I don't think there's any problems with it necessarily. Um but, of course, there's always going to be weak places, and the Germans could exploit those weak places. Places like this down here. Um, but we don't know for sure that those are going to be terribly weak. Does he go to the 33rd Rifles? No, he does not. Let's make him go to the 33rd Rifles so maybe he'll get a little bit of supply. Won't be so damn weak. But, I mean, this is going to be the first turn that we're really attacked all the way along the line. And that's that's one of the things I'm kind of nervous about. Um, we could play around and see what we can get out of this pocket. Obviously, this guy is the furthest back. So he's going to be able to at least get clear. Damn. Do I need to make more space or something? I guess it's just kind of terrain, terrain modifiers that are causing that. Oh, it's the zone of control. So we actually need to attack. Oh shit. That could be a, that could be a challenge. All right, so if we're going to attack, are we attacking across a river? All right, we got to actually make this stick. Um I didn't realize that that was the situation. Um so we want to use this guy to surround him if we can. Yeah, we now need a successful attack to work. God. Ooh, that's scary. So let's see between you, you, you. Can we deliver an attack? Just trying to see what we can deliver an attack with.
Okay, we got them out of there. We can start getting some units out. That's that's good. We had to use a lot of movement points to do it, but it should mean that we can escape with something now. Yeah. Okay. Whew. That was scary. That took a lot of attacking. Holy cow. Jeez. Six attacks. Damn. But we're going to get out. We're going to get out. That's going to happen. Just got to stay positive here. This is still a pretty scary area. I mean, if we can get anything out, I'll be very happy. So we just we're just kind of poking around to see what we can get out. Getting a little bit more space here. Stack you and you. Not you. How about you like that? You like that? Wish I could get down one more, but that's kind of okay here. I'd love to get this tank division out too, but I just don't think it's going to happen. They were needed to to fight. Um, yeah, you're just going to be running. Not that he really matters all that much anyways. 17th Rifle Corps. And we're just going to try to do our best here. Really just going to try to buy time. I'm, I'm anticipating that all these guys are actually going to get killed. I don't know. All right. That's where I'm going to leave it for this time. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.